Hey guys, Mariah Boggess here. I'm a QDMA intern and wildlife science student at North Carolina State University. Today I'm out doing a hard mass survey with my binoculars. I'm counting acorns. When you're doing a survey like this, make sure you bring a map. That way you can mark on the map where trees are, whether they're red or white oak, and how much they're producing. This will give you valuable information come hunting season. You'll know where you want to hunt. You'll know where those trees are. This will also let you know about how much food will be produced for the deer that fall and winter. White oaks, when they hit the ground, they germinate pretty quickly. As soon as there's a heavy rain, they're going to germinate that fall, so they're not available for super long, even though they are very attractive to deer. However, red oaks are available all winter because they don't germinate till spring. So they provide a lot more high energy food all through the winter where white oaks don't. So after you do your survey, look and see how much red oaks you have producing. If you don't have a lot this year, you may want to consider harvesting some more does or producing some late winter food through food plots. If you want more information on doing a hard mass survey, go to the link in the video description for an article from Matt Ross.